this tutorial is to help you work through the step-by-step -step factoring uh, worksheet. And there are three different ways that I want to explore factoring. The problem I have is this one. I have an equation uh, with two terms on the left. I'm supposed to factor out this thing in front of the parentheses. And the question is, what's left after I factor that out? Basically, what's in the parentheses? So this first method is dividing by the factor that I want to factor out. So I'm supposed to divide each term on the left and on the right by this factor, a cubed b. So I'm going to type that in here, a to the third b, no, a to the third times b, and I'm going to do the same thing to both sides for all the terms. I want to cancel out anything that's on both top and bottom of this fraction. So for this first one, I have a cubed and also a cubed on the top and the bottom, so those cancel out. I have b cubed and b on the bottom, so that leaves only b squared on top. The next term I have a cubed on the bottom and a to the fourth on top, so that leaves me with a single a on top. And I've got a b on top and a b on the bottom, and those both cancel out, so I don't have anything left there. Essentially there's ones on the bottom because they, everything on the bottom canceled out. Uh, something on the top. Uh, on this right hand side, something divided by itself is just one, and that's where this one comes from. The one just goes away, and so I'm left with b squared in the first term and a as the second term. Let's try the second technique. Uh, this is where we're, we're doing comparing of exponents. And so, what does that mean? Um, it means that if I have uh, this term on the left, a cubed, b cubed, plus a to the fourth, b to the first. I'm going to expand out all the, all the terms. Then what I want to do is distribute the factor over the parentheses. Now, when I do that, remember that I take the first term times the factor, which is where this comes from. I want to take that same factor times the second term, and that's where this term comes from. That's the green term. Once I've done that, I have the first term on the right side equals the first term on the left side. Or that's where this yellow is coming from. That's where this, this stuff right here is coming from. And the green factors must be the same. The green terms uh, must be the same value on the left and right. So that's where this green term comes from. So in the end, basically, I'm just trying to compare exponents. So, so let's see what we have. I know that a cubed on the left must be the same a factor over here on the right, a cubed plus whatever the square is. That means that 3 must be equal to 3 plus the square. Or what is the square for that to be true? Uh, the square must be nothing. It must be 0. Okay. The b on the left-hand side must be the same as the b on the right-hand side, which means that the 3, which is the exponent, must be 1 plus whatever the triangle is. So if 3 is 1 plus triangle, the triangle must be 2. Looking at the green equations, a to the fourth must be a to the 3 plus circle dot, which means that the 4 must be 3 plus circle dot. So what must circle dot be? must be 1 for 3 plus that to be 4. And then last, b to the first must be b to the first plus square dot. Well, square dot must be 0 for 1 to equal 1 plus square dot. So you're just comparing the exponents to see what those values must be. At the end, you just write out what's in the parentheses. a to the square must be a to the 0. a to the 0 or 1, and b to the triangle must be b squared, a to the circle dot is uh, a to the first, a to the first, and uh, b to the square dot, uh, that must be b to the 0. Again, you could just write b to the 0 as 1, or just leave it off, and a to the 0 is just 1, you could leave that off. And you could also write a to the first as just a. Uh, last, we're going to do eliminating the common factors. 
So the trick here is you write out all the powers of a explicitly. If it's a squared, you write a times a, etc. So my original equation up here is a to the third, b to the third. So I need to write a times a times a times b times b times b. Uh, my original second term is a to the fourth b. So that's four a's and a b. There's that written out. Uh, for every a in the factor, I have three of them. Uh, I need to cross out an a in all of the terms on the left. So I need to cross out 1a, 2a, 3a. So all the a's get crossed out. So those are all done. And I also cross out a b from every term. So I cross out one of these b's. So I'm crossing out basically all this stuff. And I'm left with b times b. I also need to cross out 3a's and a b from this term. So 3a's and a b. I'm going to cross out 3a's and a b. I'm going to cross out those guys. I'm left with just an a. So in the end, I recombine the terms. So b times b is just b squared, and a is just a. And then I'm going to make sure that all three of my answers match. So my, my answer in parentheses should be b squared plus a. That is what this is saying. This is just b squared plus a. And this is b squared plus a. So these all do match up. So I must have done all those correct, correctly. Um, what's my favorite technique? It's up to you. Pick whichever one you like. My personal favorite is dividing by the factor because it seems to work almost all the time. But pick whichever one you want.